Well, two stranded astronauts stuck on the International Space Station will now have to wait until next year for a shot to come back to Earth. It's as there is a problem with the Boeing's Starliner space spacecraft, Fox 5's Duarte Geraldino has been following the dramatic events unfolding in space. Duarte, how did we get to this point? Can you imagine, Arthur, next year? Today was just the last straw for NASA. The space agency conducted a review today and concluded it's just too risky to put these astronauts back on the Starliner. Now, those two astronauts were supposed to be in space for eight days. It's been months now. In July, when we heard from astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sunita Williams, they were optimistic Boeing Starliner could get them back to Earth. The feeling, I have a, a real good feeling in my heart that uh, the spacecraft will, br will bring us home, no problem. Human spaceflight is not easy in any regime, and there have been multiple issues with every spacecraft that's ever been designed. After months floating in space, those hopes are gone. On Saturday, NASA had a formal review of all the technical issues haunting the Starliner. Its service module, the persistent helium leaks in the ship's propulsion system, and decided the only way Sunitsa and Butch are coming back home is on SpaceX's Crew Dragon spacecraft. NASA was very political when it described how it and Boeing couldn't reach common ground on the Starliner. There was just a little disagreement in terms of the level of risk, and that's kind of where it got down to. Boeing has already recorded more than a billion dollars in losses on the Starliner. It's hundreds of millions of dollars over budget and years behind schedule. Members of NASA's team described the clash of ideas between Boeing and itself as tense discussions and acknowledged both sides have some work to do to keep its team together. Boeing did a great job building a model. Now, we, the question is, is that model good enough to predict performance for a crew? We have had mistakes done in the past. We lost two space shuttles as a result of there not being a, a culture in which information could come forward. Those comments were a nod to the 1986 Challenger explosion and 2003 Columbia disaster, tragedies which claimed the lives of 14 astronauts. In a statement on X, Boeing says, we continue to focus first and foremost on the safety of the crew and spacecraft. We are executing the mission as determined by NASA, and we are preparing the spacecraft for a safe and successful uncrewed return. So when is NASA bringing our astronauts back home? Well, at this point, it looks like February 2025 on the SpaceX Crew-9. For a little perspective here, since 2020, Elon Musk's Crew Dragon has taken more than a half dozen crews to space and back, Arthur. At least they're staying safe. All right, thank you very much, Duarte. Well,